Yo. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Dropping it right this track right here for a friend of mine. You know. Ain't disclosing no names. This will be a collaborative joint right here. So what's going on man? You checking in. You rocking with your boy Truman the Truman Show. And you know, going live. Still alive to talk about it. So let me turn this down a little bit. Still alive to talk about it. So let's talk about an event that I did with my group, Babylon War Child, out in Denmark. We were doing a show out in Denmark where we were opening up for Capone and Noriega. Yep. We were ecstatic about it. You know, we're like, yo, we're opening up for some dudes that we listened to when we were in high school and everything. So, you could feel the joy that we felt inside, you know. And we're hoping that we could connect with these individuals after the show and kick it, you know. So, mind you, we were the first act, well, the second act um, in that showcase and Kokono Noriega, who were the third group that we're going to perform so we did our thing when we're on stage me and misery and we tore the place down there's no doubt about it raf killed it it was a remarkable show you know and after our performance you know it was Capone noriega but i'd hate to go on stage performing after a group such as myself and a no misery, you know, because we're definitely two hype individuals, especially with Raph and everything, and we bring just a whole different kind of vibe, especially when we're ciphering together on stage, right? So we tore that show down, and people were coming up to us after our performance, and they're like, yo, this shit's, yo, drug, what's going on, man? I'm here chilling, bro. I'm just talking about the show scenario that we experienced in Denmark, you know? Me, Raph, and Misery doing this show opening up for Capone and Noriega. So, after the performance that we did, the people, like I said, were coming up to us, you know, showing us love, appreciating, you know what I mean, everything that we did on stage, and they're being homage about it, you know? So, Capone and Noriega must have did their thing after us and we were watching the show and we seen that people's body reactions weren't really engaged into their performance and you could say they weren't necessarily given a entertaining performance for the crowd, you know? And people out there, I guess, after you've seen what we did, you'd expect, you know, the momentum to continue into the next show. So it was like a decline after our show. We should have been the last act to be honest with you, right? But Capone and Noriega went up and it was enjoyable just from a fan's perspective because it's like these guys are dudes that you listen to when you're younger, you know? And definitely influencers in your life. So as an artist, you appreciate it. But as a fan, you would be... You'd be disappointed. Disappointed to see them perform. You know? It seemed like it was a cash grab. But... Anyways, after the performance, we're outside and we're kicking it, smoking weed, and they're walking through. So we're like, yo, Capone, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hoping we could chop it up with them, you know. Noriega just gave the man a cold shoulder brush off. Didn't hail up nobody, although men were trying to hail up men. But Capone came up, you know, said, yo, peace, God, what's going on? I'm like, yo, blessings, you know, shout outs. From Toronto, Born King and other affiliates, you know what I'm saying? The guys in the earth, you know what I mean? And he's like, yeah, yeah, love. So, Mizzy, Miz, Misery was really pissed, you know? He was like, yo, yo, I stole your CD as a kid, man. I made sure that you get money. Like, that's how much of a fan I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
I could understand why Miz was pissed because it's like, yo, we were talking about performing, performing for these guys, letting them just see our our thing, you know. But I guess when you don't get appreciation from or even this recognition from someone that you inspired you to do something and you want to show your talent to them and they kind of brushed you off like it was nothing it would be kind of like a knife in the heart I feel but anyhow you know funny thing there's this juby around and she's kicking it with us and we're walking talking and she was like oh so you guys are with Capona Noriega? I'm like, nah, we ain't not with them, you know. We open for them, but we're not with them. She's like, oh, no? So uh, you guys staying in the same hotel? I'm like, nah, man, we ain't staying in the same hotel, man. We got our own little Airbnb. She's like, okay, hold on, I'll be back. And she just took off, bro. It's crazy. So going on now, I get back to Canada and... Man's like, yo, what's going on? Noriega is in town. He needs a haircut. Come out and hook it up. And I'm like, you know what, homie? I'll pass. He's like, what? You're going to pass on Noriega? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm going to pass, bro. You know what? Because it's funny how life situations work. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm there in Europe opening for him, and he's being an asshole. Then I get back to Toronto, and someone that's connected to him calling me for a favor. I'm like, nah, man, it's all good. I'm all good. I'll pass. But yeah, that's my thing. Capone Noriega, man, opening up for them in Denmark. Dope experience, killing that show. And um, sometimes it sucks when you see people that you appreciate as a, as a fan and they just turn out to be pieces of shit, you know what I'm saying? But not to say that's probably him as a person personally. You know, it's probably just under the environment and situation that he was in in his mind state. You know, he probably didn't want to fuck with nobody. But from a other man's point of view, kind of sucks. But anyways, he's still here, still alive to talk about it. You're rocking with your boy, The Truman Show. You know what I'm saying? I'm here writing this tune for some special individuals, you know. I rewrote it like five times trying to get it on point. But like I said... Pete, my show, Truman Show, Hip Hop Trivia 101 on my YouTube channel, The Fantastic Truman Show. I'll repeat, The Fantastic Truman Show. Subscribe to my shit, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Get me live. And yo, I got new music out there. You know what I mean? That new video, Laundry, Dirty Laundry, Dirty Dishes. You know what I'm saying? That shit's popping. But anyhow, thank you for watching for dropping in, kicking it with your boy, The Truman Show. Still alive to talk about it, man. Let's go.